say the Big Red went to Dallas with great expectations, a chance for a playoff spot and a winning season. They came home to St. Louis, maybe for the last time, with neither of those goals accomplished. The Cards wind up on the short end of a 21-16 score against the Cowboys. They finished the year with a record of 7-8. and eight. Neil Lomax got off to a great start in this game, finding J.T. Smith very early on. J.T. 11 catches on the day, 91 on the year. Big Red smelled blood on their first possession. Novacek with the catch here. Takes it down to the Dallas 20-yard line, but the drive would stall, and Al Del Greco, one of his three field goals on the day, it was 3-0 Cardinals. Cards were also clicking on their second possession. Lomax here, watch him hit Robert Awalt, who uh, separated his shoulder on this hit right here. Makes the catch, ball pops loose, and Dallas recovered, took it all the way down to the 31-yard line. That set up Herschel Walker's 11-yard touchdown run to open the second quarter, and Dallas was on top 7-3. Cards had a golden opportunity midway through the period, but Novacek, who makes the catch here, fights for the yards, and then fumbles the football. It was that kind of a day, and the cards came up empty. About two minutes left in the half, Walker would go in again. He had a wonderful day for Dallas, and this puts the Cardinals behind 14-3. Gene Stallings, as you can imagine, back in Dallas, not very happy. But the Big Red then put their two-minute offense into effect. Neal here looks and finds Roy Green for 24 yards all the way down to the Dallas 20 and then after working the ball to the two it's JT again it's 14 10 at the half and the Cardinals very much in this football game it stayed that way until the fourth quarter cards threatening Roy Green here thinks that he's got the touchdown but as we watch it on the slow-mo he only got the one foot down and again we go to the field goal Del Greco again this one made it 14 13 with 12 minutes to play then Dallas scored on their next possession. Steve Pulloy, the naked bootleg, had everybody fooled. It was 21-13 Dallas. Cardinals, though, really moved the ball well between the 20-yard lines today. Stump here gets to the Dallas 26. And guess what? Stalled again. We go to Del Greco. He hits the field goal. It's 21-16, 5 minutes and 30 seconds left. Cards got the ball back, 3.40 to play, and things looked good. Stump gets the ball down inside the 25-yard line. But the Cardinals would draw an ineligible receiver penalty here. In fact, they were lucky it wasn't intercepted. Moved the ball back to the 32. Then, Mike Ruther with a bad snap over Neal's head. Neal does a good job just getting the pass away and saving the yardage. It makes it third down. Jim Jeffcoat comes up big for Dallas with a sack here, and that really made it tough. Moved the ball back to the 40-yard line. And then, fourth from the 27 Two minutes left in the game. Neal with the Hail Mary pass, and it uh, bounces away, and that was it. 21-16 the final. The Cardinals out of the playoffs and, again, very dejected. It goes without saying the players and fans deeply disappointed with today's loss. The team uh, gave us a lot of thrills this year, many more than I think a lot of people expected. The real shame of the game was the Cardinals, as I said, held the lead statistically, time of possession, first downs, and total yardage, and they still came up short. These reactions tell the story, a story of bitter disappointment, of dreams left unfulfilled and unrealized. And along with the dejected faces came a lot of heartbreak. This club fought so hard all year long. A lot of people counted them out time and time again, but they hung in there, didn't quit, and fell just one game short. I told the players before the game to win, lose, draw time. You know, the guys have come a long way. They've worked hard, and I was proud of them. I still am. You know, uh, you know, I'm hurt that we didn't win the game. I'm hurt for them and all of us, really, but we didn't. And that's, uh, we had an opportunity to win it. We just didn't. I'm very upset the fact that we had a chance to go to the playoffs. And our, our fans of St. Louis deserve a playoff team. And we, more, more importantly, we as players deserve to go to the playoffs. We had it right there in our hands, and we lost it. So disappointing. You just can't, uh, words can't describe the way you really feel right now. Uh, you know, we had a job to do. We thought uh, uh, we were prepared for that. And we definitely were prepared, uh, but we just didn't go out and execute some things. Hurting, hurting for the guys that that were here all year long, worked their asses off, and you know, fought as hard as anybody could ever fight mm -hmm. for something, and uh, and it didn't work out.